my channel I'm Charlene Clemson mommy to four boys wife to Tom and I am here today with a home bargains haul and a tiny tiny little bit of Poundland stuff right at the very end it wasn't enough to do a haul on its own so I thought I'd just chuck it into this one at the end as a little bonus um, but if you are new to my channel then please do stick around if you like this kind of content I do lots of mommy vlogs lifestyle things we do family vlogs we do cleaning cooking hacks and all that kind of stuff so if you do like that hit the subscribe button it will be down the bottom here somewhere click the bell so you get a notification in your sub box when i pop a video up i am going to be uploading loads more now going into the next few weeks and coming up to christmas so without further ado let's get into it i'll show you what i have bought i'll start off with the cleaning stuff because that's kind of like the more mundane stuff there is some christmas scents and things now so i'm really excited about that so first thing i grabbed was a really big flash bathroom um this is like the bigger size it's the one with the febreze in it just works through the grease it cuts through the grease and the soap scum and things like that in the bathroom like having the four boys we get a lot of toothpaste and stuff around the sinks so this is just what i've found works the best for us so i've got the big one of those and then also sticking with bathroom stuff i grabbed one of these domestos zero lime scale in the lime power fragrance kills 99 percent of germs and where we live we've got really really hard water so i like to put something like this down the toilets of an evening once the boys have been to the loo for the last time and they are going to bed i like to stick something like this down the toilet so that i know it's kind of cleaning it while they're in bed so that's that all the boring stuff is going to be out of the way in a second last but not least of the boring stuff before we get on to the christmas smells i picked up this comfort now it's not one that i've tried before and i think it's kind of like the intense kind of one it's a perf perfume deluxe ultra concentrated heavenly nectar um the bottle's made from 100 percent recycled plastic which is great and it will be recycled again it says on the back you can recycle me again you just have to take the film off and it just smells so good it smells really really nice and for some reason it reminds me of being on holiday but not like because it's like a coconutty smell or anything like that it's just a really like floral warm smell beautiful so i can't wait to get using that so next up i have got my zofloras i picked up a large size in the cranberry and orange scent which i absolutely love they've got like the warm vanilla and they've got the winter spice as well but for me i used all of them last year but this one was my absolute favorite i just love it it fills the house with a gorgeous smell it's disinfectant you can use it on your floors on your surfaces you, as long as it's diluted properly there is so many ways obviously everybody knows so flora everybody loves so flora the world's gone mad for it i've been using it for as long as i can remember my nan used it my mum uses it it's like it's a staple and it's a christmas smell it's a limited edition one but it's just oh it's my favorite and i also picked up um a winter morning which is a slightly more kind of clean smell um i know it sounds stupid because obviously it's disinfectant but it's a more kind of fresh smell whereas that cranberry and orange one is more kind of a winter spiced warm smell this one's still got that underlying spice but it's just a little bit kind of more fresh smelling which i love for my floors that one and then i also picked up the febreze air mist in spiced apple now this is like christmas in a can it is literally like christmas in a can and i will get through tons of this and you can spray this one on like your fabrics and things as well as just as an air freshener absolutely love this they did a pine smell as well and um i think there was another one yeah but i didn't really i didn't look i just saw a spiced apple and i'm like yes that's my bag so that one came matches my jumper that one came home with me and then sticking on the fragrance themes i am obsessed with my wax melts and my wax burners and everything that goes with them i absolutely love them so i picked up some of my favorites the wickford and co wax melt i actually put these in an electric wax melting thing um and they smell amazing they fill the house with amazing christmasy scents 
and I have got two of the gingerbread because they were the last two and I wanted to stock up and I've already got one of these on the go at the moment so I picked up a warm apple and cinnamon and they are so lovely when the boys have gone to bed of an evening I pop one on with a candle so that it's like nice and warm and it's all like cozy but then I've always got the wax melting electric wax melting bowl thing in the kitchen and that's just on all day and it just fills the house with this lovely clean warm Christmassy smell and it's just amazing so that's them and then I also picked up on a long staying like along the smellies range these which I am so excited to actually get my hands on because I never manage to get hold of these usually things like this sell out before I can get to the shops and I never manage to get them so again I've picked up the warm apple and cinnamon I'm going to keep onto this one till a little bit closer to Christmas so that I've got that like to put out with my Christmas decorations but again they are the Whitford and Co ones and I've got this one which is vanilla sugar cookies which smells incredible I've had it out already to have a little sniff and it just smells so lovely and they look so nice as well they're really like aesthetically they look really nice and they look much more expensive than what they were I think they were like 199 299 something like that proper like value but really good quality so both of those will be going out and making my house smell wonderful and all Christmassy um, I also grabbed some of the carpet fresh because the rug in our living room is getting a little bit old now. We've had it like, I say old, it's two years old, but it's got, it's difficult to clean it because it's a thick, heavy wool rug. So I like, I like to spray on the carpet fresh because it just kind of keeps it nice and fresh. Although we haven't got a dog or anything anymore, um, it just keeps it nice and fresh. And this is the frosted berries one, which I love. And I always have this every Christmas. I've been using it again for years before Mrs. Hinch made it famous. God love that. I absolutely love that woman. But before she made it famous, I've been using this for absolutely years. Um, and it just does give that little extra hit. I'm all about the house smelling amazing this time of year. Um, well, all, all year round, but this time of year, it's like, I just love these smells. It's just my favourite. Then I grabbed two of the little spray bottles these are like 49 pence something crackers um just so that i can mix up a new fabric spray using my new um fabric softener and that'll be for upstairs from beds and stuff like that and then also one a new one for putting some of my christmas overflow flow in so that i can use that kind of upstairs on the bedside tables and that kind of thing just to make sure those are all nicely kept nice and clean and also keeps the fragrance theme running through the house does anybody else comment below if you have a fragrance theme in your house or am i completely crackers um then a couple of little christmas bits which if you've got kids spoiler alert elf that's all i'm gonna say um yeah but that's coming in a minute that'll be the next thing these i just saw them and i was like they are gorgeous so they are little crockery they're the first christmas decoration i've bought this year they're like little crockery scented pomandas and you get a set of three i'm kind of wishing i'd bought more of these now because i just thought oh i can put them on the christmas tree but thinking about it obviously the the stars themselves are going to be porous because they are my nails are so short because they are um they're like I don't know, clay almost. Um, and then you get a little scented spray. So I thought, oh, they're going to make the tree smell amazing. But what I didn't think about is I'll be able to actually use these around the house as well. So perhaps hanging them in the wardrobe or um, in the downstairs loo. I could put one in the hallway, hang it on the coat hooks, something like that. And then just go around, give them a little spritz. And it's another way of getting that scent around the house. I did pick up the apple cinnamon, uh, apple, warm apple and cinnamon but they did do the gingerbread ones as well i'm sure i'm sure i saw gingerbread in there i guess wickford and co and i think they're actually a really cute gift the way that they're packaged is really really cute so they were again under i think they were 2.99 but again the price is in the in the description so i will pop those down there as well so again spoiler elf spoiler we have adopted a new elf and this is actually going to be um a little tool for me for my business but i grabbed this little dude who is going to come to work for me over the christmas period we have adopted him from home bargains and he will 
just sit and wait for the other elves to bring their magic with them from the North Pole because they're on their way now um, and they will give him some of their magic and he will be my new little work elf which he needs a name so if you want to drop him, him I think he's a him although he's got banging eyelashes so maybe she's a she um oh no he, it says his name's Ernie the elf I'm not sure I like the name Ernie. If you've got some name ideas for Ernie, drop them in the comments for me. But yeah, he's going to help me work over the festive period. You'll probably see him popping up. If you follow me over on Instagram, it's just the, Clem the underscore Clemsons. If you want to follow us over on Instagram, a story over there every single day. And also on Facebook, you can follow me, Charlene Clemson, over there as well. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really cute. So he has come to work with me, or she. And then just a couple of like toiletry bits. I grabbed some toothpaste because we needed toothpaste. I grabbed some ibuprofen because it's nearly that time of the month. If that's too much information, I apologise. But I like to have them in because, well, you know why. It's just not nice. Um, and then I got this. I treated myself to this woolly hat because it was lush. What is that on there? Why is it wet? I think it might just be rain. But I loved this hat so much. I didn't actually try it on. I just loved the pom-pom. The pom-pom is so huge and fluffy and it's grey. And I think it will really go nicely with my coat because the coat that I've got has got like um almost like a, well it is a leopard print kind of collar on my biker jacket. So I thought that'll kind of mix together and be a bit more coordinated. But how lovely is that? And again, it was like only a couple of quid and if you wanted to get it for somebody as a Christmas gift, it's got like the lovely tag on it. It's got the little star on it, which the boys will want to keep and put on the Christmas tree. And it's also got like, it just looks so much like better quality than what you pay for it. It's just amazing. So how lovely is that? I'm so chuffed with that. For school runs, that is going to be like an absolute game changer. Um, and then that was it for home bargains i've just realized and i'm going to apologize at this point i keep looking in the viewfinder now i have not been back in the youtube saddle for quite some time i've put up a few videos before this one but i'm just getting used to using my camera again so i apologize in advance i need to remember to look in the lens so i do apologize right but i've got a few little bits now that i did get from poundland um but there wasn't really enough to do a haul on its own so i just thought i'd show you these really quickly i have taken off my gel polish i usually gel polish my nails myself um and i they are due a break but i've run out of the gel polish remover when i removed my last set and then cut them all down trim them back i'd actually run out so when i saw this in the pound shop i was really impressed it's literally just a pad i've got no idea if it's any good but i will let you know if you follow me over on instagram like i say i'll let you know it's a gel polish remover and then i usually um use cotton swabs and wrap my fingers in tin foil but i saw these i've got again i've no idea if they're going to be any good but they are little um like clippy things that you put on your fingers to remove the gel let me get one out so i can show you and i just thought you know what for a pound even if they don't work i can give them to the boys to play with because i'll play with anything so you put your cotton swab on the end of your finger and then you just put the clip on like that. It holds it in place and that way I'm not going to keep using tin foil all the time. And then you just take it off and then obviously remove your gel. So I'm hoping they're going to work well. Um, I think that was a really good value for a pound. Obviously you get a full 10 clips in there so it's a full set. And it's easier than trying to wrap my fingers in tin foil myself. Then I got um, from the Pep and Co section two sets of two packs of two gloves. So we've got four boys, and we get through gloves in this house at this time of year like nobody's business. Um, and they did these magic gloves. Now I actually tried them on myself in the shop to see how big they would stretch, and they just about fit my hands. They're obviously like a little bit too small because they are designed for children, but they'll be perfect for the boys. So there's um, two pairs of like different sort of blue gloves there's like the light blue with the stripes there and then there's a dark blue pair with the light blue stripes at the top and they were a pound so 50 pence for a pair of gloves at 50 pence for a pair of gloves i'm not going to lose my mind when they lose them um so i probably will go back and get another couple of packets just to have as backup and to have in the car um 
if you would like to see something like a car organisational video, like what I keep in my car, I've got a box in my boot and it changes through the seasons. If you'd like to see a video on what I keep in that box, it's like an emergency box, let me know in the comments below because it is a really, really handy thing that I do. Um, so yeah, I need to go back and get more from the box. So pop them down there. Then the other thing I got, which he's broke into were I let Zach choose some pants. We are currently potty training with him and he chose these Paw Patrol. There's a set of three. I think they were two pound. He ripped the tag off um, and he chose Paw Patrol pants. They're just little briefs, little cotton briefs. You get a set of three in there. I think they were, yep, yeah, two pound for those, um, which I thought was really good. Um, and he chose them and it was all exciting. And again, if you'd like to see a potty training video, he's my last baby that I'm potty training. It's taken quite a while with Zachary, I'm not going to lie, he wasn't really into the whole thing. So he's actually going to be four in four months time and we are just about nailing potty training. All of the boys have had different journeys with it. So if that's something you'd like to see a video on, again, drop me a little comment in the comments box and I will look to doing that in the future. And then last but not by no means least, I can't actually believe this is from Pound Shop. This ornament is just beautiful and i am gutted i didn't get two i don't know why i didn't pick two up but i can pretty much guarantee by the time i get to go back this weekend these won't be in there it's a glass um it's like mercury glass christmas tree it's really heavy it looks like something that you would get from tk max or um home sense or a, like an expensive garden center or something like that it's mercury glass so it's really pretty and i think if you popped a um, led candle led tea light under there because it's mercury glass and it's got all those sort of like spots where you can see through it would actually glow really pretty as well so fingers crossed there will be more of these when i go back this weekend but that is absolutely everything i got in my home bargains and my tiny little pound land haul i really hope you've enjoyed the video and if you want to see more of them do give it a thumbs up for me just click that little thumb icon it really really helps my channel get seen and it'll mean that i know to do more videos like this in the future but thank you so so much for joining me take care guys and i'll speak to you all soon